Stadium on the campus of the University of Oklahoma here in Norman. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Back to return. Taken from the three-yard line. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Has some daylight. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He's out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and eight. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He's got an opening. He's tackled in the open field. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 13-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Big opening, and they make the stop at the 10-yard line. Tackle, the 7-yard line. positive yardage. You know, this, uh, this defense right now is giving up a lot of plays. It's been a very methodical drive here by this offense. Six first downs on this drive alone. But the defense can't give up. I know they're tired. I know they're frustrated. But if they can hold this offense to a field goal based on what they've done so far, that would really be a win. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. That brings up a second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Nice run, and he's brought down. Go. 
He's scrambling, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. They weren't able to defend the quarterback scramble, and they give up six. And he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line. He'll pump fake, then take off, or he'll put his head down and crash it in. Anything goes with this guy. And he converts the extra point. An 11 play, 78 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Two down, two down. Fires right side, got his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 28. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He tries to buy some time. Very good tackle in space. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And down he goes at the 38 yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 38. No game. That makes it second and ten. And this one's broken up. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. And here's another third down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He zips one over to the right. Completes. It's the junior. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination. And they hook up here for a big-time game. Carter gets the carry. Runs outside for a nice game. Makes it to the 22-yard line. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. From the 15 yard line, first down. He's taken down around the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Utah State! It's a great call here inside the five-yard line. The defense took away the quarterback, a great read, and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Number Sullivan gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Kickoff returns 24 yards. 
And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. This is incomplete. Here's the intended receiver on the play. That From their own 27-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Caught and up for the first down. They'll bring him down around the 44 yard line. Down around the 36 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That's good enough for another Oklahoma first down. Regular, 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 regular. Check four, check four, five, five. And he just gets rid of it. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. 59, Philly. 59, Philly. Strike to his receiver. No good. Gibson was the intended receiver on the play. From the 23-yard line, second down. He can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll bring up third and long. Tenth play of the drive. Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Hello. 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 He's going left. And he's got it. Going the other way now. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Go. Scrambling around. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Now he's scrambling. He's got the corner. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's a game of five on the play. That's right, that's right. That'll bring up three and four. The crowd really making it difficult. He scrambled. Tackle around the 43-yard line. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Pierce is back awaiting the punt. Pierce takes it to 25, heading for the corner. Brought down the 39-yard line. 
And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. At the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Aggies. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 25 so the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six this quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes nice run there Decent run here, right side. Gain of four yards. That'll make it third and one. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That is a loss of three yards. That makes it fourth and four. No, is the putter. He makes it to the 38 yard line. Return for a gain of nine yards. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Utah State is up seven. Gets out to around the 48. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Two, two, yeah. On the throw, incomplete pass. Bradley, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. And they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Mike 40, Mike 40. You expect this every time you're here and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. tries to buy some time and down he goes at the 29 that brings up second and nine i love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and the toughness to sit in that pocket. 
Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Tackle made right around the 20. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it it's almost ten. like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Utah State is up by a touchdown. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a... But this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And he hits him hard at the nine-yard line. So the Aggies use their second timeout. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Pitch out, got the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game of three yards. Right, right, right. That brings up second and goal. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Hey, motion backfield. He's on the run. Caught end zone for the touchdown. positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He makes the PAT. Sullivan has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. Latimer from the two. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. He's tackled in the open field. Oklahoma is going to take their first time out of the half. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 34. Swings it out there incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on this fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Dickerson is back to receive. Oh, what a hit. Utah State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability, and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Fires out to his wideout. He's going to try and scramble, and he's sacked. Utah State will take their last time out. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line, and we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. This one is incomplete. So we've played two quarters. Utah State leads 21-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half as a result to get yourself a two-score lead. But you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. 
So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously, you can get this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up, but you built a two-score cushion. You've got, you've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. Ball is loose, fumble. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. Not want to let this lead slip away. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's level at the 10. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up 32. They go to the ground and he stops short. Good solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Call the game of 10 yards. Double tight, guys. Double First tight. down. Three down, three down. Now here's the line. Here's the line. Third and two, third and two. Here we go, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Third yeah. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Second down and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36. seven on the play. That'll bring up 36. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Oh, brings him down at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 40, Mike 40. Bring it! Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and 10. Yeah. 
Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Fourth and long here after the sack. Kent is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 43-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 38-yard line, second down. And they push him out at the 38-yard line. No game. That makes it third and 11. Looks to his back and he's got him again. And they make the stop at the 27. Quick throw onto the receiver, incomplete. Walton was the intended receiver on the play. From the 27 yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 10-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Maxi gains only two yards there on the delay. They sent the middle linebacker here on a blitz, and he was pretty much untouched getting in there to make the stop. With the pass incomplete, and the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Gatewood, ready to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Utah State up by eight. He passes it. Almost intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 45. Game of 20 on the play. First down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 21-13, Aggies. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Carter gets a ball, left side. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. 12 on the play. Watch the run, First watch down. the run. Mike 40, Mike 40. Get up. Run, 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 run. That's a great tackle at the 21. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Utah State is up by eight. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The crowd really making it difficult. He throws. The pass falls incomplete. Dickerson, the intended receiver on the play. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's hit immediately. That'll bring up third and four. And he throws it away. Perry, back to return it. Perry fields it at the 26. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. 
He tackles him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. Can't hear a thing down there. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. From the 46-yard line. First down. run and he's brought down the Sooners call a timeout that's their second of the half and he's tackled after positive yardage Oklahoma's called their final timeout it's third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker Gets out to around the 28. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. There you go, Mike 40, Mike 40. There. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gives it right side. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 15. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And so that's going to do it. So the Aggies get the win, 24-13. 24, the Sooners. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.